This video shows you how to include pedestrian crossings in the control plan. We'll look at two examples, a fixed control plan and push-button crossings. Pedestrians are included in the demand for dynamic scenarios. The experiment activates the Ames and Next pedestrian simulator. Pedestrian trips are coded from origin to destination. Pedestrian crossings appear in the Signal Groups tab. You can group them together with vehicle turns. Or, for more flexible control plan definition, put pedestrian crossings in a separate signal group. The control plan specifies the green activation and duration for each signal group. Phase 1 is green for the main avenue and secondary pedestrian crossing. Set recall to maximum to request green constantly with no need for a detector. Phases 2 and 4 are clearance interfaces. Phase 3 is only called when pedestrians are in the waiting area or when vehicles are detected. The continued presence of pedestrians or vehicles can also extend the green period. The Simulation Control tab shows which phase is active. In an intersection with a push-button crossing, Phase 3 can be triggered by vehicles waiting in the yield turn area. Or it can be triggered exclusively by the presence of pedestrians. You can define a crosswalk area in a node. Draw a polygon and convert it into a crosswalk area. You can also include crosswalk areas in a signal group. Adjust the crosswalk waiting areas. Now pedestrians can behave more realistically, taking the shortest path to where they want to go.